Welcome back. We're going to look at what should be now a familiar scene. I've been working today on uh, bits and pieces, uh, mainly get the reflection mapping going, and I made some progress, but the result is not as satisfying as I uh, was hoping it was going to be. So there is some reflection on this uh, on the sphere, but it's not as good as I hoped it would be. So the way I've done it now is I essentially took six snapshots. So if you position yourself inside a sphere, you take one picture here, or make a texture out of it, but the angle, the viewing angle here is like 45 degrees, and if you extend to 90 degrees, you get like quite a nice angle covering this side of the screen. Then take another one here, take another one here, take another one here, take one down here, and last one up there. And you make that texture into a cube map, or like a cube texture which consists of six faces um, and the texture content is essentially the scenes I just uh, showed you and then you need to figure out if you look at a certain angle uh, what the refraction is from the, your camera's position onto the sphere and you map that onto the cube map you've made and that's how you draw the texture on the sphere so if we go around you see that the environment is nicely mapped and you do see the water moving so all this is definitely working However, if I move the camera left or right, um, it doesn't update the um, reflection on the, on the sphere as it should. Seeing so you look at different angles, so the position should be updated. It only takes the position of the camera into account now, which is wrong. And as you can see, there's like some nasty artifacts where you see a like a triangle shape over the. Um, of the environment, which is slightly darker than the background, which if you look behind me, that there's no such thing. So that's like an artifact. I'm not so really sure why it is, but it seems the picture I take from down, from straight down, seems to have a darker color. It may have to do with uh, spectral lighting, maybe. Even though I think I dis, yeah, I have disabled it in this uh, this thing. Since so spectral light does depend on the uh, viewing position, how you from which I can actually view the scene. So that might be the issue, but I'm kind of skeptical. I don't think that's really the case. Uh, another thing is, if we look from below, you see that things somehow get inverted and you get to see the sky at the very bottom and yeah, it's a bit of a mess. Uh, so, I mean, good progress so far. But definitely to update a few things to get the uh, get the right picture on this uh, on this ball. So for a few things to fix, first of all if I move the camera left and right then I sh the reflection should update on the sphere as well, whereas now it seems to be static, which is bad. Um, then there's this thing at the bottom I want to fix, because that's just wrong. And then there's these, these artifacts. As you can see here the water also tends to be darker closer up and like lighter further away. So again the darker bit is the picture when I get the picture downstairs or like straight down and the white one is basically take a picture from that area over there or excuse me area over there. Uh, plus I think that the image is actually inverted on the IX. So as you see here it almost seems as if this this uh, hole here actually is on the other side over there which is not the case, so I need to flip these images. So yeah, it's not as straightforward as I hope it would be. But as exercise gets me to do a bit of maths and yeah, I mean, as a first attempt, uh, I feel like I've done like a single day with no experience before. I think it's a pretty good effort. But yeah, definitely some work. So uh, hopefully I'll form you guys in this uh, progress sometime next week. I'm not sure how much time, how much time I'm going to get the next uh, couple of days. I'll do my best and I'll uh, I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.